Okay, we'll continue on with the questions now. Now, someone said, what do I need to do to become a carer? Like, in shots, I guess you meant. Um, you get your baby shots, which are three shots. Now, I have always hear, oh, they hurt so much, they hurt. No, they're not. They're just like any other shot. They don't hurt. If you don't mind shots, then you don't, they don't hurt. Also, too, I got um, my tetanus shots. Because uh, doing barbed wire and stuff like that, I always thought it was a good idea to get tetanus shots. Um, my son also has his rabies shots plus um, his tetanus shots, and he is the best at taking barbed wire off of wings. Just fantastic. And um, if, if you're not sure, like some people, it has not worked for them. Like they don't get their tear, tear level up properly. Now, mine is, has been the same for years. They think I should get another booster next year, but um, mine has stayed the same for years and years and years. That's about nine, ten years we're looking at. So, so you know, just depending on, on a person, some people, they um, never have to get another shot, and some people do. So it just depends on each individual. But... If, if you'd say did get scratched a bit by a bat, they, um, if you do go get your gravy shots, you'll be fine. It's people that don't go and get the shots that that's what happens. Some people don't realize, you know, they get bitten by a little, little bat and they don't realize that they've been bitten or, you know, if they do get bitten, bitten and they don't want you know telling or forget about it whatever reasons that is where you run into problems so as long as you get the the shots after you've been you know scratched or bitten well then you know but that's why we always tell people don't touch bats because if you touch a bat and it accidentally scratches you bites you yes it does have to be euthanized so to check it to see if it has rabies. So don't touch it. You know, we have people I've seen, you know, where they're going to help you, you know, take a, a bat out of netting or something. No, no, please don't help me because if that bat accidentally touches you with their thumb and scratches you, which is so easy just because, you know, that's their their hands. So what do you do when you're grabbing for something or you're, you're trying to get your balance or something? You reach for things. That's what they do. They're not trying to hurt you. I mean, I, I've been really lucky with a lot of the rescues I have. They're pretty docile. They're, you know, they seem to know you're going to help them. And, um, they, I mean, some of them, they don't really like you, but they do understand that you're there to help them. So as long as I think you're calm and cool and they're calm and, you know, you don't upset them too much, they're, they're pretty, they're not like, I've, I've taken a can off of my dog's tongue and been bitten. So, you know, no, no, you don't have to answer him. For some reason, he's answering, answering the crow. The crow's making noises and he's calling back. That's what we do. If, if say, you're looking for a baby, you don't know where the baby is, you bring a whistle. And if you blow the whistle, it will answer back. So that's what he's doing right now. Somebody's calling, so he's answering back. Aren't you? Are you going to answer back? Going to answer back? Hmm? Going to answer back? I mean, I really like that he's not... You don't want your bat to be afraid of everything because this is what he has to live with. I mean, you could say, oh, well, he's outside, he's hearing noises. But, yeah, that's this is where he comes from. And he's very curious of the outside. Hey, look at him. It's it's becoming dusk, and soon the adult bats are going to be flying over, and he's going to see. He's going to see adult bats. Is there any up there? 
Is there any there? I don't know about you guys, but I think he's absolutely adorable. What are you doing? Are you watching? Oh, wait, do you want to stay outside and we'll watch the... We'll watch the adult bats fly over? Hey? And we'll see all the bats fly over? It's so hard sometimes to get him in focus because he moves. I talk with my hands, so it's amazing that I'm trying to be as still as possible. And he's looking around, so he, he goes out of view every so... out of... Uh, focus every so often. Okay, the crow should be going. And once the crow goes go, I'm sure the big bats are going to fly overhead because they go to that tree over there. And they'll talk to each other and you'll get to hear what they sound like. Yeah. Oh, sorry everybody. I've just kind of forgot about you guys and just focusing on James here. So... I mean, one thing I was talking to a carer the other day, actually, uh, the carer that had James before myself, and I said, the day that they don't, that I just don't fall madly in love with them, the day that I stop crying and get used to them passing away, I don't want to be a carer anymore. Because I think that you have to put everything into it. Like you're your whole heart into it and they know it they know when your heart's into it so that that's one thing that uh, I promised myself from the day I started that I never ever lose that feeling and so far I haven't and I don't want to ever lose that feeling because you put a baby bat I think in any care's hands and they turn to mush and it's not like, it's not the same as a puppy or a kitten. Or It's such a different feeling. It's, and I've never ever under, it's, it's, carers will know what I'm talking about. They'll, they'll know that feeling. It's the most amazing feeling. But it's so hard to explain it. So I'm going to turn this one off and the next video we're going to do is watching James watch the bats fly by. So stay tuned. Ah!